everybody! Today we're going to be making a weaving and this is an example of a weaving. So what you're going to need is some paper. Now if you don't have any co colored construction paper, you can use some computer paper or any kind of paper that you have lying around the house. And you can also color your paper with crayons or markers or colored pencils so that um, you have a little bit of color to your strips as well. So that's the example. And here are some things that you need to think about when you're doing this. So weaving, that's the title of this project. And you are going to create a pattern with the paper that you're going to cut. And then you're going to make a pattern into the weaving. Like, look at this, I'm sliding it in here. Orange, green, orange, green, and so on. So I'm going to be showing you how to do that. So what you'll need, and parents, you might need to help your kids get started with this. But after they get started, they should be able to do this on their own. So I started out with a 9 by 6 inch piece of paper. So I had to cut that down. I didn't want to make this project too big. I kind of um, uh, made this project a little bit smaller. That way it didn't take as long. And um, you will also need your strips to be 9 inches. I mean, that size can vary. It doesn't need to be exactly that size. But that's just the size that I did for my project. Okay, so take note of that when you're doing this. And so here are my supplies. So I've got my 9 by 6 piece of light yellow paper. And then I've got some strips over here to get me started. So what you're going to do first is you're going to actually fold your paper. Like you're going to make like a happy birthday card. So you're going to fold it like that. Now you have a folded side right here and you have an opening you really want to pay close attention to the folded side right here okay so I'm gonna put my fingers I'm gonna put two fingers on that fold and then I'm gonna put a dot and then I'm gonna slide my two fingers down and I'm gonna make another dot so two fingers and a dot two fingers and another dot so every dot is two fingers apart okay so I have four dots you might have five that's okay all right now after you have your dots remember they need to be on the, on the fold see the fold that's the fold then you're gonna take your scissors and you're going to cut right on that dot keep cutting all the way to the top but stop right before you get to the top okay leave a little space right there don't get too far because you don't want the paper to rip cut on the dot all the way to the top and stop cut on the dot all the way and stop okay see what I've got so far cut on the dot all the way and stop and also all of my cuts should be about the same height. They're all about the same. That one might be a little short. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in and cut that one a little bit more. All right, now let's open it. And now you'll have something that looks like this. Okay, this is called your loom. The loom is the, the paper that you're going to weave all your pieces into and those are called your weft. Okay, so this is just the thing that kind of holds all the whole project together. All right, so it doesn't matter what color you start with. I'm going to start with green. Um, and you can go either over the first piece of yellow or go under. It doesn't matter. I'm going to start over, and then I'm going to go under, and then I'm going to go over, and then I'm going to go under, and I'm going to grab it, and then I'm going to go over. Now, the reason why we made our strips 9 inches or a little bit longer is so that when we're all done, we can glue them and cut them, and I'll show you that in a minute. See how I laid? I made them a little bit longer than the actual project. Now I'm going to do my pattern. Now when you do your pattern, you could do a two-colored pattern. You could do a three-colored pattern, but a pattern is something that repeats. So you have to do it over and over again, like I did here. All right, now here comes the trickier part. This next piece can't start the same way that the green has started. Otherwise, look what's going to happen. When you're all done, it's going to slide on top of the green and you can't see it. So what you need to do is do the opposite. Go under 
and then over, under, over, under, like that, and pull it so that you have something like that. But make sure that you push all the way. Make sure this is tight. And then you go with the next piece in your pattern. Instead of going under, because look, you can't go under because look, it's going to slide. You go over, do just the opposite as the last one. Go over, under, over, under, and over. All right, let's do it again. You can always pause this video in case you're falling behind and get all your pieces in. All right, next piece. Gotta go under, because look, if I try to do this, it's gonna slide and it's gonna hide the green. So you go under, over, under, over, under. All right. All right, and then you just keep doing that with your pattern until you get all the way to the top. Okay, so now that you've got your weaving almost completely full, you gotta put your last strip in. Now this is where it might be the trickiest. So what I'm gonna do before I put that last strip in, I'm gonna make sure that all of my pieces are as tight as I can get them. That way I have enough room for my last strip. Yep, I'm still, I'm still able to make a little bit of room by using my fingernails to shift all the pieces down. All right, now I'm gonna get that last piece in. It's gonna be a little tight. So I really gotta use my fingers on top of my weaving and underneath, I have a hand underneath and a hand on top to really try to push these pieces of weft along. All right, I did it, I'm just gonna pull it. All right, and I got a little space there, so I'm just kinda spreading it out. All right, so now you've got that. Now I have some kids that kinda like the way this edge looks, this is called fringe, you can leave it that way. But if you don't like all that extra stuff hanging off, you can glue it. So you can either use a glue stick or a glue bottle. This is Elmer. This is Elmer, by the way. Elmer. This is his nose. This is his body. And he's got a body full of glue. So I'm going to open Elmer's nose. Make sure he's breathing. You should hear a little like a, like a puff of air come out of his nose. nose. And then you know he's working. All right. So I'm going to lift all of my pieces of weft and I'm just gonna put a dot, not a lot, and then push it down. So I'm gonna do the green side first. And now you may have other colors that you did, or maybe you used markers to color your strips. That's cool too. So just a dot, not a lot. This, the reason why I'm doing this is so that my weaving doesn't fall apart. So you have to do the top and the other side of my top. So I gotta do these green strips as well. And then I gotta flip my whole project over and do the other side. All right, so the other side is my orange strips. So I'm gonna flip it over. Now I've got all of these pieces to do. And then when we're all done gluing down all of our pieces of weft, then we're gonna give it a haircut. We're gonna trim all the extra. But maybe you like that, and that is okay too. You might want to keep all of your extra weft pieces of fringe. All right, so there's my weaving, it's done. I got my pattern. Oh, and Elmer, his nose is still open. You see that space right there? So you gotta close his nose. There you go, and that way he doesn't get clogged up there. Right there. All right, now I'm gonna take my scissor and I'm gonna give him a haircut. I'm gonna trim off all of the extra pieces of weft to kind of make my art look, it's got like a nice clean edge to it. Now, if you're interested in making your weaving into an alligator, watch my next video titled crocodile or alligator weaving. You can make it a crocodile or an alligator. Either one is okay. Watch my next video. It'll be titled 
crocodile or alligator weaving and I'll show you how to turn this into an actual crocodile or an alligator. Look, I got all my body parts right here. So I'm going to show you that in my next video. Like here's a sneak peek of his face. Look, he's, look at those goofy little eyeballs. Look at him. News is news. And look, here's another sneak peek. Tongue. All right, stay tuned for the next video. If you want to turn this into something, watch my next video. Bye.